cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Uh, one of apa's most popular video is actually what we call a Chinese cabbage. Ah, uh, sorry, Chinese spinach soup. Uh, I think that hit almost five uh, half a million view. Now I'm going to do another one here with a slight twist. Okay, so uh, I have some Chinese spinach here. Um, in Malaysia, we call it Chinese spinach. It is also called uh, amaran. Okay, amaran. So um, I have a bit of uh, chicken stock here. One bowl of chicken stock. Some uh, fried uh, ikan bilis anchovies. Yeah, fried anchovies. A uh, few uh, fried, a uh, few cloves of fried garlic. Yeah, the whole clove. And I have one uh, uh, salted duck egg and also uh, century egg. Century as in uh, 100 years. Century egg. Uh, I may not need to use all of them. I probably only use half each. Okay. And a bit of uh, goji berry or wolf berries. And this is my homemade uh, fish powder. If you uh, you can actually search for my uh, fish powders video, but this is optional. You don't have it. It's okay. Just leave it out. Okay, it's this dish is a very simple but very flavorful. Okay, I'm boiling a two bowl of uh, hot water here. It is now boiling hot. So uh, let's add in the uh, one bowl of chicken stock. I'm basically uh, cooking for three person here. Okay, so this is why I always cook uh, three bowl of water. So um, the chicken stock, the fried garlic. The fried uh, anchovies. This is half century egg and half salted egg. And about one teaspoon of my uh, homemade fish powder. You can do without this, don't problem. And let's bring this to a boil, then we continue. While waiting for our soup to boil, uh, let's talk about these two eggs. Uh, I remember many, uh, some of some of you, especially the foreigners, uh, those who are not Malaysian, uh, they have never seen these eggs before. Now this is what we call salted egg, very uh, commonly found in uh, Asian country. Uh, in Malaysia, you can find both chicken salted egg and duck salted egg. Uh, I always prefer the duck salted egg, it's slightly larger. And then we have the uh, this is century egg, okay? It's actually some kind of like a fermented egg. Yeah, can you see clearly? It's actually some kind of like a fermented egg. And um, I think you can also find chicken, above chicken and uh, duck century uh, egg here. Okay, so uh, for those who don't like use, using uh, MAG like APA, this century egg here, whenever you are cooking any kind of soup, by putting in some century egg, it actually has the effect of similar to uh, MSG which will actually intensify the flavor of your soup okay it's actually a very beautiful thing by the way just now Appa forgot to show you uh, uh, that I have actually put in three slices of ginger inside so after it is boiling you let it boil under high heat for about as, at least five minutes to so really brings out all the flavor uh, from your century egg, um, from your uh, salted egg, and also from the anchovies. Okay, um, if you don't have any uh, broth or uh, chicken stock, then what you can do is use the anchovy. Okay, boil one hot pot of water, uh, put some anch wash your anchovy, and put it into a tea bag, and then uh, you can actually cook the anchovy for ten minutes. Then you will have a very beautiful, nice broth made out of anchovies so Appa's, what's Appa doing here is actually a combination of few kind of broth chicken broth, anchovy broth, hot water okay so uh, you can simplify just, just with just using either only just chicken broth or you can do with uh, uh, anchovies broth also okay okay it has been uh, boiling for the past five minutes now I can put my Chinese cabbage the amaran inside this is actually a very famous and common dish in the local Malaysian restaurant here. If you go to any Malaysian restaurant, you must try and order it. Uh, my family likes to order this dish because uh, you don't have to order, you can order, 
this dish comes with veggie and soup together. You don't have to order two dish. You can order one dish for two purpose. Again, bring this to a boil, then it is almost done. Okay, come back shortly. All right, basically, when the moment you see your emeron has softened, it is uh, considered done. We don't want to overcook your veggie here. It's very simple, isn't it? Now let's uh, do uh, some final seasoning. Give it a bit of salt. Followed by a little bit of sugar. The sugar here is not to sweeten the soup but to intensify the saltiness of the salt itself, okay? And give it a few dash of white pepper and it is done. I'm going to, oh, before, before that, I'm going to throw in some goji berries. Okay, so let's remove this. Uh, let me show you how I display it. All right, so here's my uh, Chinese spinach soup or amaranth soup with century egg and salted egg. So I hope you like my video. If you like my video, don't share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page, okay, like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.